Hey everyone, Anissa here, and this is gonna be the first makeup look I upload of 2018. I do want to start doing more makeup tutorials because that's what brought me to YouTube in the first place. So, you know, I gotta get this start year started correct, and so we are. Today I'm gonna be featuring the Athena palette from Bad Habit Beauty. I purchased this at Shop Hush. Right now, yes, it is out of stock. However, how I purchased mine was during a first restocking of it, and I signed up for the notifications like the on Instagram. So then I was up to date with the activity that they were doing surrounding this palette. So if you don't have it, don't worry. I'm pretty sure they do quite a few restocks. I feel like I see them restock things. So don't lose faith. If you have this palette, let's play together. I hope this gets you inspired. I also want to give you a quick look at it because these are 18 bomb shades that rival that Huda Beauty. Um, I think it is the Desert Dusk palette that this is said to be a dupe for. I don't own the one by Huda Beauty. I don't plan on buying it. I'm not spending $65 in the story. Girl. <laughs> I'm keeping my coins. Um, other than that, if you like makeup tutorials, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you'll be a part of the tribe. And let's get into this tutorial. Alright guys, so we're going to start by priming our lids. I'm using the NYX HD um, eyeshadow primer. I really love this one. I literally think it's better than the Urban Decay and it's cheaper. So I literally just tap it on both lids. You can just use your fingertip. Nothing major. Just make sure you get it all on there. So as I said, we're gonna be using this Athena palette today. I'm really excited to finally use this. I've been holding off, but oh my God, so pretty. I'm gonna do a full review of it more in depth when they restock. Um, and then right now, I'm just going to kind of warm up that crease area with the Valor color right here. It's just like a peachy shade. Very easy just to pop in to start building up that transition. You all know I love to do this. I just grab like a big fluffy brush. This one's the Morphe M510. Um, and I'm just using it because it's pretty generous in disposing product. So just windshield wiper motions. And there you go. Now I'm gonna use Truth right here to deepen up the crease a little bit more. And then again, I'm just gonna be using a Morphe brush. The one I'm using to pack in this color is the M433. This is like one of my favorites from Morphe. And then I'm just settling that more into the crease because you see like the bristles um, of the brush are a little more densely packed and compact. So it can hit right into that crease real nice. And this is okay, you're just gonna kind of like drag it and make like a C like this. So C, C. Now we're gonna pick up the color Clever and continue to define the outer corners of your eye. And I'm just like buffering this in with a Morphe M444, <laughs> M441 brush. And so just like that, you're just like, just dusting it in ever so slightly. So now that we're getting a little bit tighter in detail, I'm gonna, I zoomed in a little bit more. So I have a little bit of that color already deposited, but as you see, it has quite a bit of pigment and I'm just buffering it in and then I'm gonna like connect it into the crease like that. Now I'm just going to take this clean blending brush and just kind of get everything to marry together really nicely, especially right here where we're kind of starting to mix about three colors all in one space. All right, while I'm here kind of working this out, I'm going to take Clever, that last shade, and run it along the lower lash line. And I'm just using this NARS 12 brush, like kind of like this easy fluffy dome. And I'm just gonna start using that. To define it a little bit more and make it pop, I'm gonna go back in with just a smudger brush and really go along the lash line. All 
Okay, so now I'm ready to work on the main focal point of the lid. So what I'm just going to take is this NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone and add it in the area that we're about to pop. Almost like kind of what I did in my last tutorial, but I'm not going to make it so sharp. I'm just going to make a quick focal point. Just take a synthetic brush and you're just going to dip into your pot here and pick up some product. So I'm mostly just packing it onto the center and then I'm just blending out the rest of the product. So now I'm going to start working with these two colors, Gleam and Epic, just to do a wash over the lid. They are absolutely stunning. These are these two guys on the back of my hand right here. Goodness gracious. So I'm just going to be using just an easy flat shader brush. Just real easy, girl. No special ones because we just want to pack on that color so i'm going to start with gleam and what i'm going to do is literally just start washing it over like so this is exactly what i was wanting to Now I'm going to pick up Epic, that other shade, and then I'm just going to put that in the center more so you have that extra pop. And then just how we did before, we're just going to go back in with just that blender brush and make sure everything is going together nice and right. All right, so you know your girl is all about an inner corner highlight, and what we're going to pick up right here is the color Cunning. It's a little bit more gold in tone, um, and we're just going to use like my little E36 guy right here. I always use this for um, popping in that inner corner highlight, and then just work it in. Oh, that was not what I expected. That's like a cute little burst. I'm going to drag it in here too now the one thing that's a little annoying like I really have to work the packet in right here I just don't know if it's just me today but All right, guys, so we're ready just to kind of finish up that final definition bit of the eye now that I put on my foundation, which is going to be liner and some mascara. You could totally do lashes with this look, but however, I do not really wear lashes all that much, only if I'm going out during nighttime. So I just want to keep it real with y'all and show you that you could still kind of make this look pop without lashes. So what I'm going to do this is just... Literally, it's like a baby wing. It's not even like a real legit wing. So I just picked up Gleam with the liner brush and then I'm just going to spray it down with a little bit of little spray there. So this I'm just going to pack on top like so. So that way you don't lose the depth but you get that little that duo crumb to it. So again, I'm just going to go back over the black liner with the shadow. Okay, so now for my face, I'm just going to warm up this area with some bronzer. It's kind of just what I like to do because I can make sure my blush pops with this too. 
it's like kind of just a trick I really like so that's usually the only place I'll add warmth sometimes I'll touch up the forehead but really just like stippling it in there so now I'm gonna add some blush to the mix now the blush I'm using is this one it is called grape it's from La Femme Cosmetics I have a kit from a while ago I will have to try to see where I can find it um, picking up grape right here to me is such a pretty color on deeper skin tones to have like a purplish blush and then I'm gonna smile and pounce it into the apples of my cheeks so smile and then I'm gonna do there just on the top when you do your blush on the top of your cheeks, so it gives your face more of a lift. If you do it down, it's gonna bring that down because that's where that color will be concentrated. But this is like perfect area just for a good lift. You can literally see the difference from here to here. All right, so I'm gonna do the same, just going on the tops of the apples of the cheeks like so. And then, okay, so on to my favorite portion, of course, highlighting, I love highlighting my face like for real so i'm gonna be using the mac here comes joy of part of their holiday collection which is still available and then also a color from the unicorn glow highlighting palette felt like it kind of goes with the theme of the shadow this is going to be the main one so i'm gonna layer this one on first so i'm just going to pick it up with my morphe m501 and then i just run it here i'm going to do it more like a blush top or two to just get some all over glow happening Keep it spell all down there. And then I may just, I'm just gonna strike some on the brow bone there. So keeping with the theme of the shadow look, I'm gonna kinda go for this like lavender shade here, which is called Fantasy. Um, just in case you wanna see it and see the shifts in it, let me swat, well, I almost dropped it. Let me swatch it really quick. It's like a lavender with some pink shifts in it like that so i'm just gonna pick up fancy with my morphe m501 brush i literally have ever so lightly the amount of product on there and i'm just gonna put that onto more of the high points and bring it down into the blush as well so again high points blush whole nine yards Okay, so moving on into lippies, we're going to be using a NYX lingerie in the color embellishment. You see, it's kind of like that cool grayish, lavender, mauve color, however you want to describe it. So I'm going to start with there, and I'm going to see what it looks like, and then I'll go in and add some depth if need be, which I probably will. So this one I love. I did a review of these two, and I really just like the application. Besides the fact I have some crust on my lips lately. So that's it right away. And like I said, I do want to add some depth. So I'm just going to do some Night Moth on the outer corners. Okay, so you can see like I really actually like how it looks when it's getting more defined out. Now here it looks a little bit harsh, but we'll go back over it with the lip color and it will make it just, you know, work. Okay, so also lately I've been liking to dab a little bit of gloss in the center. I'm just using Love Child. I think this is what it's called from MAC. I'll double check. But it's like, just, it works, you know? So it's like that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because this is the final look. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I had fun creating this for you all, and I really had fun dipping into this palette for the first time. And even though it is out of stock, I highly suggest 
go into Instagram, follow Shop Hush, and just set your notifications on because you will always be in a loop and know what's a restock. Um, I personally got this during a second restock, so trust me, I lost faith at first, but don't lose faith. You can get this palette if they restock it for sure. As for the hair that I'm wearing, there will be a separate review for this wig unit. I am just like in this like oil slick vibes, obviously with hair and makeup and everything. So I will definitely enjoy sharing the details about this unit in a separate video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you'll be a part of the tribe and I will catch you all in my next video. Happy New Year! Bye!